Indianapolis Colts superstar linebacker Darius Leonard just underwent his second back surgery. This time, they're probably considering it as serious and not calling it minor like they did the first time. But it's season ending. Obviously, he's going to have a back surgery midseason. That's it. Shut down. It's about freaking time. They shut him down. Not, you know, keep on misleading fans, not keep on misleading the team, or whatever the heck they were doing. Downplaying the injury? Yeah. Enough of that. That was BS. Messed up. You don't downplay an injury like that. Doesn't matter. if You, you know, you're going to call a minor back surgery? It's not minor. Back surgeries are serious. They need to be taken. You know, you know their world. They're world-class health physicians, all trainers, all that stuff. They're in the NFL. Yeah, it doesn't mean that, you know, you can't disagree with them. You can't question their practices. Because, you know, I doubt it's their fault. It's not their fault. There's nothing that they can really do about it. At the end of the day, it's a coach. It's a player's. It's not really the trainer's decision. They don't really have a final input. They have reasons, and they have and they give their input, but they don't have final input. So Darius Hunter finally being shut down, it sucks. It does. You know, because seeing how well this defense is playing without Leonard is phenomenal. It's, it's pretty nice to see, pretty cool to see. But that goes to show. Was paying $20 million a year that necessary to have in top five defense? We are number four in yards allowed per game. Number four. Without Darius Hunter. We had Darius Hunter for two games. When he did play, he looked slow. He couldn't move. Didn't look the same. And, you know, it baffles me because Frank Wright said, like, just a week ago in a press conference, he's not going to touch the field until he looks better on the film. Until we see it on the film that he's moving like he did. A week later, he's back out there and he's still moving slow. Didn't look anywhere near the old Darius Hunter. So that shows me that they completely went against what he said to the media. So this shows that, you know, whatever the Colts say, you can't believe it. You can't. You know, and for, and for a lot of clubs, that's, that's how they like to run things. They don't like to go and give, you know, the truth out to the public immediately. That's, that's not their goal. That's not what they want to do. They don't want to start an uproar. But, like... A situation like this, it's kind of ridiculous. They're mishandling another superstar player. And there's a few questions to, you know, there's a few things to take away from this injury. From him not, be, from him not playing, from paying, from paying him $20 million a year, and how well this Colts defense is playing without him. So, he is a phenomenal player. There's no doubt in my mind that he's worth a great sum of money in the NFL. That he should be paid premium money. But $20 million a year for a guy who hasn't played a full season yet. Has had been in and out. Especially the last two years. I'm not trying to, you know, talk down on the player. Anything like that. I love Darius Leonard. But there's some ser- quite serious... And honest questions and difficult questions that need to be asked. You know, was he's a phenomenal player, as I just said. But we have seen how well this defense has just played without him in the beginning of the year. Now, we're lacking in, turno- in, turnovers, in the turnover department, and that's where Darius Leonard usually comes in. He forced, he was involved in, what, 16 turnovers last year, 15, 16? That's more than, like, six or seven NFL teams last year. The entire teams. Yeah, it's insane. He had like four or five interceptions, nine or ten forced fumbles, and he had like three recover fumbles, something like that. Um, I knew back right when they announced that it was minor back surgery. It wasn't minor. When you call a back surgery minor, you're either downplaying it or you're misleading. Because when you're messing with the spinal cord, the neck, the back, Anything of that nature, uh, you know, a head injury even, you have to take extreme caution. You can't be misleading about that. You can't be. You know, you you could in the NFL. Technically, you could, and you're not going to get repercussions if you're being, not being transparent to the public. That's, That's a strategy, you know, whatever. But comes to a point where when you keep saying it, you know, especially when the coach 
thing when the head coach, former head coach, said something in the press conference and they didn't follow up with it. Now it's Jeff Saturday. Maybe Jeff Saturday pulled the plug and said, you're sitting. If he did that, I'd be happy because Chris Bauer didn't do it in the first 10 weeks of the season. No, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. Jeff Saturday comes along and it happens. You know, when he's played, he just hasn't looked the same either. So, some serious, some difficult, and very and questions that no one wants to ask, but they need to be asked. Do we have answers for all of them? No. Are we going to find answers for them? I hope so. So, as you already know, as I already have said, that's, that's it for the season. No Leonard. And, you know, if this defense continues to play the way they do, do you? I don't think you shop Leonard. Maybe you shop in just to see what kind of value that you could get out of him. I don't think that's a great idea because you trade a guy like that, you immediately lose a locker room. You you lose a locker room. You lose it. You know how you know that it, would be detrimental. But there comes a point in time where you know you see how well the defense is playing without him. Maybe you pay Bobby O. You trade Leonard. And have a team pay some of his contract, and you still pay some of it. That's that's uh, that's honestly a dot because you know you're ready. What a year into this con, into this contract, and he's been hurt all year, never played a full season. There's there's reasonable doubt. You know he's a smaller linebacker. He's a smaller guy for a linebacker. You know, and you so sometimes when a player is smaller, the durability is significantly worse. Is bad. And if you're gonna pay a player twenty million dollars per year almost 20 million they need to be healthy they need to be playing they need to be making a big impact i don't care you know i care about the player i hope he i hope he recovers and i hope he can recover well fast and feel better because back is no joke but at the end of the day this franchise paid him 20 million dollars a year to be on the field and play as the best linebacker in the, in the game, as he was paid to do, as one of the best defenders in the league. That's the truth. The NFL is a business. Difficult questions need to be asked. Are they always answered? No. They need to be asked, and they need to be talked about. So Leonard, his future is kind of cloudy. For me, I would shop just to see what teams would want. Am I saying I'd trade him? No. I, I'd have to seriously think about it for a long time. But you're just seeing how well the defense is playing right now without a premium talent linebacker. Bobby Allen is very good. He's no Leonard. He's not one of the best linebackers in the league. No. He's he's very solid. Very solid. Probably top 12. Easily top 12 linebacker probably. No, 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 no. But you see so many teams have so much you know season success, go late in the year, Late in the playoffs, they don't have a great linebacker. They have solid linebackers. Okay, linebackers. Look at the Rams last year. The linebackers were terrible. Almost terrible. They had, they had Von Miller, Leonard Floyd, which they, they, were, they were playing phenomenal. They're kind of like multiple guys. They play edgy, play a little bit of coverage, linebacker, all that kind of stuff. But um, there's a lot of different you know scenarios that you could go out and talk about, you know, if they're line, you know, whether you want to consider them as linebackers. I don't consider those guys that play a lot of more edge and linebacker that drop once in a while. I don't consider T.J. Watt linebacker. I don't consider um, Von Miller linebacker, even though you know he drops back sometimes. He's multiple. You could at times, but I mainly consider them as edge guys because that's where they make their big money, right? Their presence, their edge rushing. That's where they make their money. Where you make and where you make your money is a position you play the best and you should be known for. But I definitely see where you know you could say they're both. You definitely could. So, that's all I got for you guys today. You guys let me know what you think about the situation. Would you trade Darius Leonard? Tough question. Because you know it could hurt the locker room. He's an amazing player. Amazing player. But is he a player that's going to help you win a Super Bowl? He could. Definitely could, the, you know, the way he turns the ball over. Absolutely. So, maybe Leonard is that rare exception. Which I think he is. But if he can't stay healthy, then who cares? Yeah, it's, it's it's just how I feel. So, and it's kind of the truth. So, you guys let me know how you feel.
Thank you for tuning into the JW Sports Talk Show today. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, put the post notification bell on us and sending future videos. This is JW Sports Talk Show. Signing off.